Hi everyone, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how I map out my year so that I can stay organized and be able to plan ahead. And you can pick up some of the tips that I'm gonna be sharing you and you can also implement it yourself in your business. To start off, you need to set up goals of what you plan to achieve in the year. And if you haven't set up your goals yet, I did a video where I showed you how to come up with goals and how to actually achieve those goals and you can check it out over here. And after you set up your goal, I usually take one of my weekly planners that I use to plan it all out and schedule it out. So I start off looking at those goals that I set up for the year and actually look at them and prioritize what are the activities or projects that I plan to achieve for the year and see which one is more important for me to achieve first. So those activities that I want to achieve first has to be activities that brings a uh, big significant and big impact in my business. In terms of if I'm planning to increase my income, it has to be projects that actually aligned to that uh, goal that I have that in terms of bringing more income into the business. So after setting up my goals and prioritizing what I need to achieve for the year, I take out my planner, and then I go ahead and look at the calendar and start blocking out, first I block out things that are really important for me in terms of uh, any family commitments that I have coming up, like birthdays, kids' birthdays, kids' activities, any holidays coming out, any vacation that we've planned for the year. So I block out all those dates out of the calendar that I don't schedule anything else in those days because it's important to have those days set aside so you don't double book yourself and make sure that you do have time that you're taking aside just in terms of having vacation and family and all this stuff right hanging out with family and quality time and all that right so i actually schedule it out and block out all those days and, and that i have those activities happening and then after that i take that list of all those goals that i prioritize to see which one is more important i like to plan it out on a quarterly basis so i look at the first quarter what is the most important thing that i need to achieve for that quarter what are the activities that are going to be of more impact for that uh, first quarter so that i'll be able to meet my goals for that quarter and then i then plan out what are my monthly goals for that quarter. So what do I need to do in those uh, months? So after planning out all those, uh, after blocking out all those family commitments and holidays and vacations and all that, I then go and look at that goal list that I have that I've already prioritized in terms of what's more important and what's going to be of more impact in my business, what's going to bring more money or what's going to move that needle to say I'm actually progressing in my business. I then plan out the quarter. What do I need to achieve in that quarter? And then from a quarterly plan, I plan out the monthly ones. So, of course, those goals that I've come up with all have deadlines, right? So I then look at the calendar to say, okay, with these deadlines, what are the activities that I need to do to be able to achieve those projects, those goals that I've set up for that quarter or for that month. Then I do the whole schedule done, right? And then I actually schedule it all the way to just a weekly scheduling because I use my weekly planner. So each day I know what I'm gonna be doing, what activities are more important for me. And also put that, give yourself a room, right? In case something changes, because sometimes your vision does change, right? So you have to always be open to that and opportunity may come up. So you need to give yourself some room in that. So whatever you set, it's not really set in stone. You can still always change things around depending on what's going on and giving your yourself that chance to receive those new opportunities that might come up as long as there's something which is moving you towards your goal and the big picture of the vision you have for yourself and your business. So yeah, so that's how I plan out my business. So having that all set up, I now know what I have to do this week and what I'm doing next week and know what I'm doing last month and for the quarter, right? And then all the activities that I'm, I have to do that I schedule out has to meet those goals that I plan out. And then if I have any marketing happening 
or those activities are all scheduled out and I know what my, my targets are, my how much leads I need to get and all this stuff because everything is all scheduled out and I know what I'm doing. So with that all mapped out, it's much easier for you now to be less overwhelmed, less stressed out, you have a direction in what you're doing, you have a strategy in place and then everything else is just going to be, you know what, <laughs> fall in place right without having to stress too much about it. So I'm hoping this has been useful for you. If you map out your own uh, months or quarters or year, please share in the comments. I'd like to see how you do it. If you have any tips about to improve that and what has worked for you or doesn't work for you, we'd like to have that. So let's start the conversation. You can comment below and let us know and I'd like to, to to learn from you too, how you do your mapping out. So I'm hoping this has helped you. If you liked it, thumbs up, like the video, share with others that may like this video as well. And for now, continue building your business that you love and I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.